Welcome everyone, this is Alex for the Coaster Spot and we are back for another construction update of Wildcats Revenge number 20 filmed on May 12th at Hershey Park. Of course, this is the transformation of the old Wildcat into Wildcats Revenge, a steel hybrid roller coaster built by Rocky Mountain Construction. It stands 140 feet tall, it has four inversions and plenty of airtime. So before we get any further, appreciate it if you could hit that like button, subscribe and maybe hit that bell for instant notifications when a video comes out and also comment down below. And over on Instagram, you can follow me and I post live stories from parks while I'm there. And over on Twitter, Coaster Spotting, I post high resolution coaster photos and construction photos. So go check those out. So not too much to show you from up here. You can see that lattice structure is all up into the wave turn. Still needs a little bit more work. We'll see some detailed shots of that later in the video at the end. And uh, they've been working on uh, filling in the in field there with some dirt. Maybe they're covering up the footers. That would be great. That's the one thing I kind of hate about some of these Rocky Mountain construction projects that they just leave the footers just uncovered and they're just there and it would be nice to see them actually taking care of that. The four track pieces have been moved around. I just guess they were in the way so uh, they've been moved and uh, you can see over on the left there that entrance queue line uh the safety fence has been installed it seems that red safety fence and there's a lot more railings that have been installed so we'll show you that and those poles that are aligning that those are actually fans so the little squirter water fan things that they have at amusement parks so no lockers yet for the pass through and uh not that much else to show you the storage lot is pretty much empty uh just little bits of pieces here and there probably a lot of trash as well that just needs to be disposed of at this point and uh, that's about it as i said let's go into the park so got a new view never noticed this over by fahrenheit but it has a absolutely amazing view of that uh underflip that is that that's just wicked looking especially with the camp delivered structure hanging off the side of the structure oh looks awesome and here's a view of the lift hill from that vantage point as well and then I ran into this guy. He just kept on wanting to talk about block zones or something. Anyways, yeah, it was great to meet you, Ryan. And uh, dude is like down to earth, so nice. One of the nicest persons I've ever met. But anyways, here's a closer view of uh, nothing that's really changed actually. But over at the wave turn, we can see more of that structure from inside the park. But again, we'll get better views of it from outside the park at the end of the video. It's a really cool structure actually. Really neat. And uh, here's a look at the lift hill. And if you look closely, you can actually some, see some differences on that handrail. You can see a bunch of lighting has been installed and wiring. And here's the final zero G roll where you can see a bunch more bracing has been added. And that's a lot of what they've been doing, it seems like probably in the last week. And that's what they were doing all day Friday. They're pretty much just doing the final look over the structure, I think. And, it would seem that they're doing their final checks of everything so this thing can run soon. And here is the station. Um, there is a wall going around, a very, very tall wall going around the transfer table area. So uh, yeah, that's probably for the better. Uh, so people aren't walking up there and poking around. But I assume that will probably be painted black as everything else is. So. Still, hopefully they add some more uh, garnishes to this or something, because um, I think it looks pretty plain. And uh, there we go, more of the same, just more work being done to tighten things up. So uh, let's pause the narration for a minute and we'll be back. And here's another look at that fence that's being built along with the station and the lift hill. Most of the day they were working on top of the lift hill, doing whatever final things they need to do to make this thing uh, test pretty soon, I would assume. Couldn't really get a vantage point of what they were doing, but there's that uh, conduit trough there. And here's another view of those steel batter braces that were added to the wave turn and the wave turn itself, which is just looks so good. And, uh, there's a station, but here's something really exciting. I mean, wow, I walked up to this and I was like, dang, 
wasn't expecting that. So what I thought might be something that was going to just hold some signs is uh, holding old piece of Wildcat track. And yeah, there, there had been like one piece of track that had been left over in the parking lot. Didn't think much of it. Thought it was just something they hadn't gotten around to trashing. But now we know why they were keeping it around. So uh, yeah, there it is. And on the left there, you can see the stanchion that's going to hold up the height sign. And there's the height sign itself. About ready to go in. You know you're almost there when that's going in. And then the key line that's going to separate the regular line from the fast track line. And uh, lots of work taking place in that queue line. Last week, I wasn't sure if anything had been going on with that, but now it's very evident that lots is going on with that old queue building. And then the security fence, more or less, that's going in between the queue line and the lockout area. And then more structure being added all around the place. I was surprised to see more over in the wave turn. I, I figured that was pretty much done, but nope, more needs to be added. So uh, lots of that taking place today as well. And more areas where those bolts just need to get in, get all the four bolts in onto the saddles, get everything aligned properly. So yeah, it may have seemed like a lot of this stuff was done, but yeah, it, a lot of stuff they needed to come back to. And there are those blower fans that are in the queue line with some work being done in the background. Now outside the park, more structure going into the second wave turn to uh, brace it up and uh, get everything aligned properly, bolted up correctly. Yeah, I, I, there's not much more to say other than just they were just getting everything together. And at this point, let's we'll just talk about like where they are at this point. It, it really does seem like once testing is done, they'll be ready to go. They won't be waiting on infrastructure, the queue line, the exit, all that stuff. I think that will be all wrapped up before that happens. Uh, so I really do think it's going to be an Iron Gwazich situation where as soon as they're done with the track, it can test uh, soon there afterwards. And uh, there's those lights added to the top of the lift hill. And now we're going to show you some very close up views of that batter brace structure that was added to the first wave turn. So so much of it so uh, and you can see it's not completely done you can see some parts are still hanging off and need to be connected so i don't think they're a hundred percent done with it but it definitely went up really quickly as i expected it to and you can also see that it doesn't only just connect at the top it connects at multiple points along the height of the structure as well And then we move again and we'll see more structure being added to the wave turn. So like, I mean, this, this is what they were doing a lot of today and then more work being done to finish up the lift hill as well and the handrail. So they weren't completely done with all that stuff quite yet. It seemed like it, but nope. And because I like to insert some interesting things, I, I noticed that they were uh, removing a bee's nest earlier in the day and they had removed it. And this was like five hours later and these guys had already built it to this point. They are busy bees, no pun intended. So that's it. Thanks for watching. This has been Alex for the Coaster Spot. Like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, we'll be back for another construction update if there's enough to show you. If not, we will just skip right to testing. So thanks again. Bye-bye.